So there is the family bakery in Hamroon. That's in the year 93. I'm the second child. Well, I'm the second person to the left, on the left. First is Jonathan, my older cousin. And then me, always angry in photos. Or not, that's a bad call. I'm not always angry in photos. I just, whenever people wanted me to stare or smile in a particular way, I got really angry. I only ever smiled and was happy in photos if I was just being natural. <laughs> Nothing's changed. If somebody told me to just stand still and smile in a particular way, I told them to get fucked. So that's how I was as a kid, and that's why I used to get angry. As you see there, that's my very angry face. And me swearing. Nana trying to hold me. <laughs> Auntie Anna looking at me going, fuck me dead, this is the devil. Because it wasn't, it was a kid that was swearing. <laughs> she was convinced from day one I was the devil. Oh, fuck this. Angela? Jesus Christ almighty. Is that a fucking stolen Australian kid or is that fucking... Uh, oh my God, that's young Angela. But that's the bakery in Hamroon. And uh, there's a lot of passion in baking food and cooking in our family. And uh, most notably because... Uh, for me at least, I do believe we had that for generations. Now this isn't official. I've never gone into the family archives in the Kauki tradition. It's, you just live one day at a time and no, oh, that was nice sort of thing in the past. But it's not something I ever sat down and spoke to my nunna about. But I am led to believe that was in our family for generations. And during the war, it's a very it's definitely a bakery that would have been built in the 1800s or 17, even 1700s. So it seems that we had that in our family for generations upon generations. And for me, considering that we know as fact it's those bakeries that kept the entire Maltese population alive during World War II, it's a source of the deepest and most intense patriotism, true patriotism, not a false sense of patriotism, which, which has to do with someone else, which has to do with uh, it's us and them, a, a true sense of patriotism in terms of what you have done, what your people are about and you know, looking there, there are all the family crests like, probably belonging to the Kaukis, all the different variations and uh, that's the bakery that was the bakery in Hamroon, I'm pretty sure underneath our house and uh, it's amazing it gives just looking at it it's it's holy it's this bakery and bakeries like this all over Malta that of which expert family uh, families experted in food kept the entire population alive their methods of storing food um, <laughs> Kidnapping British soldiers. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, that's bad. Their methods of doing anything to turn anything into food and keep their entire population alive because the Maltese people came first. There is no doubt about that. In During that war, it didn't matter where they got the food from. It didn't matter if they had to go scuba diving. It didn't matter if they had to sift through the dead. It, they turned everything into food in the bakeries in the ovens and the entire population of Malta remained alive because of these bakeries so it is uh, everybody's happy there and you can just see it's it's a source of the utmost family pride those bakeries and there's my young mother 23 oh my god younger Tina he would have been about 26 oh that is fucking gold Almost his son, about his son's age now. Oh, that is gold. And that is us at the bakery. So cooking to keep people alive, to keep them nourished, is a very, very sacred passion. <laughs>